I hope you realize just how lucky you are. Oh, lucky? Traipsing around the woods trying to find that flea bitten cur in Annabelle? Oh, I think that's most ungrateful, Edward. If it hadn't been for Foster... If it hadn't been for Foster, I wouldn't have broken my leg and nearly frozen to death. Oh, you're lucky it's a nice, clean grave. Will you stop fussing? A and anyway, I think it's a very romantic story. Oh, I can agree with that. Oh, yes, definitely. You you've heard of, of, of Lassie Come Home? Hmm? This is going to be called Foster Go Away for Good. And I can relate to that. You can all go away as far as I'm concerned. Bad enough to be stuck here with ten pounds of plaster weighing me down. But to have the entire staff of General Hospital hovering over Some me... Some patients would find it very flattering to have the chief of staff and head of nursing on their case. Mm-hmm. Tell me, why did I have to spend the night? That's a waste of facilities and services. No wonder our health care system is broke. Edward, considering the length of your exposure and your past coronary problems, we would have been remiss not to keep you here for observation. Mm-hmm. You're afraid of lawsuits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> observation is right. Every doctor and nurse and student aide in this complex has been in here to look at me. If you're referring to Alan and Jason... It took me an hour to get rid of them. Oh, and pray, wait, where are, where are Dr. and Nurse Jones? Haven't they gotten the word yet? Believe me, Edward, any time you check into this hospital, the entire staff knows about it. And we all want you out of here, just as much as you do. Hmm? Oh, what did I tell you? Step right up, the two of you. Take a gander at the main exhibit. Oh, Edward, I don't know how much more rudeness these nice people will tolerate. Mm. Well, actually, we didn't come to examine you. We want to sign your cast. Well, that'll be the day. <laughs> actually, Edward, we wanted to tell you that we're very sorry about your accident. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd also like to see you for lunch, Steve. Oh, fine. Yeah. Get him off my back. All I want to do is put this smiley face right there and then every time you see it it's gonna cheer you up no thank you the only smile i want to see is my own when i get out of here amy yes. let's give this man his fondest wish get the discharge papers ready promise oh but it's gonna be so quiet around here without him <laughs> now seriously edward as your physician i must caution you to use better judgment I mean, a man of your age traipsing in the woods in sub-zero weather. You have some nerve. Now, I may be older than you, Steve Hardy, but you're no spring chicken. You're still putting in 12-hour days, huh? Oh, will you two kindly knock it off? Neither one of you are going to reform the other. Definitely a lost cause. Now, Steve, can you please tell us about how long Edward will have to wear that cast? Well, it's a good, clean fracture that distal fibula. Barring complications, if he minds his P's and Q's, I'd say about six weeks. Oh, that's not too dreadful. That's outrageous. If you think I'm going to sit around and do Matter nothing... Matter of fact, you won't. Amy will be giving you instructions how to use crutches. Oh, what fool couldn't learn how to use a crutch? Uh, isn't oh. it lovely that you two have had a visit from Tom? Oh. Um, is there any chance that he's here to stay? Well, I'm afraid we said goodbye to him this morning. Huh? Ah, and there's some other bad news. Oh. What? Hey, Mr. Quartermain. Uh, oh. I took a chance and got the coffee black. Oh, that's very astute. Thank you. And the muffins, they're from Kelly's, where we get some fresh every morning. Oh, that's a very nice of you. Yeah. Mm. But, um, I can't stay long. I have to go to school, but uh, I thought I'd just come by, see how you were doing. You know. Well, I'm probably a good deal better than I would have been if you and your father hadn't shown up. Well, if Foster hadn't have brought us. Well, in any case, I'll be going home soon. Here, you want this one? Oh, no thanks. I already had a couple. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's a cool cash you got there. Mm-hmm. Can I sign it? Not on your life. No, sir. But you can... Pull up that stool if you want to. I'll write you a note for your teacher if you need one. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, uh, there's some business I would like to discuss with you.
business, huh? Yeah. I hope you're not going to try to sell me any more worms while I'm in my sick bed. No, hmm? no, it's about the puppy. Oh, Annabelle's puppy. Hmm? Well, Foster's too. I mean, nobody's even questioned the paternity, which leads me to Mrs. Quartermain's uh, agreement with me. Agreement? I know of no such. Well, uh, a promise more that the, the, the owner of the sire gets the first pick of the litter. She brought it up, you know, I didn't even... She said it was traditional. Well, that may be the case, but since there's no litter per se, only one solitary little puppy. I, the question is moot, don't you think? No, I... Well, a promise is a promise, you know. My dad says a verbal contract is as good as a written one. Not if you have a really good lawyer. <laughs> In any case, I don't know if my wife was actually empowered to make such a promise because I'm the one who uh, purchased Annabelle. Yeah, you, you bought her, but, I mean, you, you gave her to Mrs. Quarterman as a present, which means she is the legal owner, I would think. You planning to go to law school? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I kind of like this. My dad would have a fit. Oh, no, I imagine he'd rather you do something respectable like uh, operating a blues club, huh? <laughs> Can we just get back to the subject at hand, please? Certainly. Now, given the Spencer role in my rescue, it would be very ungrateful of me to ask for uh, compensatory damages for the havoc that Foster... Uh, Foster 1 and Foster 2 have caused. Hmm? However, I feel that you should... Mr. Quartermain, here we go. What, both of us? We're going to have to discuss this later, I guess. Well, I'll look forward to that, Lucky, and thank you for the muffins. Mm. See ya. All right. I'm so glad you're in a better mood now. See one quick little lesson with these crutches, then we'll go downstairs because that cute guy that works for you is waiting. Reginald? Cute? Yes, don't you think so? Never thought about it. Um, you know, that cast really looks naked, all white. Can I just try one? For minute? heaven's sake, no. Go get yourself a, a coloring book. Now teach me how to use those infernal things and get me out of here. 